What's up guys, it's your favorite fellow earthling here, Austin Hires with Austin Hustler Hires. Thanks for joining into another episode on my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing another hiring process video. I have uh, one, two, three people, three people scheduled for interviews today. We'll see if at least one of them shows up today because you guys remember the last video. And speaking of the last video, we're gonna go ahead and give away the prize. This is the prize we're giving away this week, guys. It's a $1 bill, another holy $1 bill. You can see right through it. It is from 1935, and this is valued in silver. That's what that blue stamp right there means. So if you guys wanna win this $1 bill on my channel, go ahead and enter the keyword down below, United States. United States. That's the key word down below, guys, to win this dollar bill. And I'll be announcing the winner in Friday's video, so be sure to tune in for that as well. Let's get on with today's video. It is currently 7.51 right now. My first interview is at 8.30. I'm gonna do a couple of things on the computer before they get here, maybe make a couple of notes on some more questions I wanna ask them so I can get to know them a little bit better while they're here. Comment down below if you guys are ready for the busy season. Do you have everything you need to get rocking and rolling? As you guys may know, on my last video when I was doing hiring process I did something new and added a new element to our hiring process and we're gonna do that again today just so you guys know here is the trap we're setting today there's the trash can there's the garbage and you literally have to walk right over the garbage to get to my door here so let's see how they do What's up guys, I'm fixing to set my GoPro right over here on the shelf again so that way you guys can see the whole experience. It is currently 8.18 right now, so that means about 12 minutes our first person should be showing up for the interview. We'll be asking them some questions. Basically, at first I just asked them to kind of tell me about themselves and uh, then I let them talk and see how they handle that. And then I start shooting the questions at them after they're done telling me about their self. Um, this way I'm doing a lot of listening and not a lot of the talking. You wanna, you wanna let your, your interviewee, if you will, do a lot of the talking for you so that way you can really see what's in their head, what's on their mind. Good morning. Yeah? <laughs> How's it going? I'm good. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks for coming in, guys. Okay, and how much uh, how much money are you looking to to like make? How much money do you need to make to survive? You know, it, it, well, the way that we put it is like you know we can only go up from our situation. So the first person came in on time. They walked straight back to the Connex and right over the trash. They came in. They did a okay interview, I would say. I didn't show too much of this interview because this particular person did not want to be on YouTube. So I respect that and I respect you bro. So if you're watching this, thanks for coming in for the interview. We talked a little bit about the past jobs that he had and we talked a little bit about what interest he had. He's basically a laborer, um, good with his hands, gets out there. He can uh, basically do anything I need him to do with a little bit of common sense and uh, seems like he has some experience in life. So that's a good thing. So all in all that, so all in all, it was a good interview and I appreciated them coming in, showing up on time and just being here. On top of that, when they left, they actually did pick up the garbage. I was walking them out. They were walking in front of me and he said, oh, let me pick this up real quick. And he uh, he wasn't even looking at the sign. It was the opposite direction. So that was pretty cool. Uh, he noticed it on the way out, but not on the way in. So technically, should I give him a pass on the test? Because technically they didn't pick it up on the way in and they picked it up on the way out. Should I still give him a pass on that, guys? Comment down below if uh, if I should give him a pass on picking it up or not. I walked them out to the car, said our goodbyes, and told them I will be in contact with them soon. All in all, they're a pretty good prospect for a future hire. Hey. Hey. 
all right guys so a quick update uh so the 8 30 8 30 came in nine o'clock texted you and said they canceled right yes sir and then just now the 10 o'clock texted her and said they canceled and they accepted another job so woo! looks like we have a 9 30 still coming in yes sir i have to go out there now to see if he's gonna be here on time all right all right all right so if 9 30 comes in we'll uh, at least have two people to uh pick from today <laughs> and uh yeah hopefully one shows up at work Maybe yeah this is uh exciting why doesn't anybody want to work can anybody answer that question he had to text us and let us know that he was running a little bit behind but he showed up and he was only like a minute and a half late so not too shabby not too shabby but to be late to an interview that's uh pretty bad bro if you're watching this right now no hard feelings it's just that you know you should have been here on time or early i've got to quickly reset the trap quickly reset the trap here okay trap reset Whew. they should be here any minute now if they're actually still coming in We just got a text update from the person coming in at 9.30. It is currently 9.30 at this very moment. He said he's on his way in, but obviously he's late, so check. That's a little check mark for him there. Uh, let's see how he does on the interview. Hello? Hey, sir, they just pulled in. They just pulled in? All right, thank you. Morning. Hey, what's going on, man? Austin? Yes, sir. All right, what's your name, bro? Uh, Brandon. Brandon, all right. Nice to meet you. All right. So, cool, man. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I just moved down here. Hey, guys. Um, Lay down. On the 11th of this month. Lay down. I've been moving around, figuring out life, doing my own thing for the last three years. Okay. So, uh, just came back here, my family lives here, and I haven't seen them for a few years, so. All right. Just looking for some work. Mm -hmm. I'm a laborer. I've done everything from roofing, to concrete slabbing, to professional moving, to forklift driving, to trusts, demo, uh, fucking wiring, some plumbing, some electrical. I've done a little bit of everything. Okay, I've, okay, okay. I've done a little bit of it. All right, all right. Cool. And uh, I, I'm working on my way into the military, so. I mean, it's going to be a few months, um, maybe even half a year before I get in there because I'm trying to get physical and train my brain. I want to get a high school on the HASVAC, so sure. school is never my thing, so I got to pretty much re-put myself through school, right. so it's going to take a while, right. but until then, that. yeah, yeah, it's fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I've heard. Okay. Yeah. All right. Until then, I'm just, I'm just trying to stay busy. I'm trying to work as much as I can. And, uh, you know, maybe learn something along the way. I don't like sitting at a register and fucking ringing people up all day. It's not my cup of tea. Okay, right, you know, right. So I'm, I'm a physical person, and uh, that's kind of why I'm here. All right, all right, cool. Yeah, because this job is definitely physical. Yeah. It will keep you, it'll keep you busy. Cool. Um, and we're starting to get into busy season right now. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so that's why we're looking for another part-time guy right now. Yeah. Uh, maximum of like three days a week. And uh, then we can, if, if you want to work up from there, you want to do a couple more days a week, we'll do our best to get you in there. We want to have two trucks running, so we basically would have a team of two in one truck and a team of two in another truck. Okay. Uh, during busy season, that's typically how we do it. Mm -hmm. um, during slow season, we go down to one truck and we're down to one truck right now. And that's why we're like part-time people that are like doing a couple days here and a couple days there. Yeah, yeah. So obviously you try, you're trying to get in the, into the military, so you would be, you know, limited like a seasonal type well so i'm joining the guard okay. so the thing is with that is i'll be here more than i'll be there i'll only be gone maybe a week or two out of each month okay. after i get out of boot camp so you should be military. able to still work so i'll come back to work and then i'll let you know hey this point in the month they'll let me know mm -hmm. two to three weeks ahead or okay. maybe even the month ahead prior that you're going to be moved you're going to be shipped out here this month and shipped out here this month for this long All right. and I could let you guys know. All right. And then I can come back, get back to work, back and forth. Alright, alright. 
yeah, yeah, as long as we have like a little heads up and everything. Yeah, yeah cool. sure. Um, so yeah, let me just, uh, I got questions here, you know, to, uh, interview questions. Okay. Um, so like, uh, what is, what was your last job that you had? Um, my last job that I had, I was a manager at a liquor and gas station um, in Iowa. Okay. Um, originally, I was doing construction. Right. And all the hands-on stuff. Yeah. You don't yeah. like that gas station stuff. <laughs> no, no. It was, it was just. I had been doing a lot of construction for, I don't know, maybe three or four years, like consistently, back to back. I had not stopped. Where did you move from? I moved from California. Okay. So just I went, recently. Yeah. No, it was like a couple of years ago, almost. Okay, okay. So I was in California doing labor jobs, met a girl, moved back to Iowa for her. I wanted to spend more time with her, so I decided to kill off the labor and just take it easy for a little while. Sure. Uh, and then I became a manager at the gas station. I was like, fuck okay, it, I might as well. I'm making 15 sure. $16 when minimum wage out there is 8 so mm -hmm. uh, I was freaking placing there. It was yeah. Yeah. simplistic ass work. And, mm -hmm. I got to spend time with my girl, which I would not have been able to do as much if I was doing the labor that they were doing out there. So right, right. Anyway, it didn't work out, and uh, you know I tried to stay out there a little longer, kept working, and then uh, just tried to miss my family and stuff. And yeah. Shot myself back over here, and that's where your family was. Yeah, my family lives here. I got 11 siblings. Okay, so were you born here, Florida? No, I was actually born in California. Oh, okay. And then they moved here? They ended yeah. Up moving here? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. A lot of, you know, a lot of Floridians go to California, a lot of Californians come here, like, yeah. just swapping out. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. I see yeah. it all, all the time. Yeah, the country boys want the city life, and then the city life boys want the country life. And yeah, but California's just... got all that, too, you know? Like, yeah. we got country life out here and city life. And out there, yeah, yeah. you got that country and city life out there. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Okay, so, um, sorry, my just went blank there. I literally had the next question. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, uh, yeah, man, we, we, we cycle through people like crazy. It's people, you know, you know how people are. Um, mm -hmm. it's coming one day, they work hard, and then they don't work hard the next day because they got paid. We yeah. like those type of people here. We want people to come in and just yeah. like really love what they do. We, we, uh, my two guys are out in the field right now in this truck. And they have fun every day. You know, we're always we're always having a good time. Uh, they get all yeah. the jobs done. Sometimes we get done at one o'clock. Sometimes we get done at five o'clock. Typically, we do our best to be home by or before five o'clock. But there are the times we go past that. We go seven, six, and seven o'clock because yeah, that's yeah. one job. It just needs to get done, and we yeah. can't leave it and come back the next day. We got the next day packed up. So yeah. that's the type of thing. So it happens sometimes when we get really busy. Um, but that's why we like to have two crews, so that way, you know, one crew finishes the day, we go help the other crew, we yeah. have a big job or whatever, we love to have Kind of like pro movie and stuff like Yeah, yeah, man. It's, um, so we just load up, just junk, we just load up junk in, and sometimes it's good stuff, so that's why we, the two teams is good, because we, one guy can take all the good stuff, put it in our, we have a red chair right there, we, we take everything that's we good, that's able to sell, yep, on Facebook, yeah, nice. eBay, um, we're going to be nice. opening up a uh, thrift store slash rage room where we use the jump, we save all the tables, all the TVs. We smash the shit. Yeah, the that's that cool, shit. man. So that's where we're going with this business, just so you know, like, where we're going, there, you know, yeah. see our, our dream. By the end of this year, we want to have uh, the, the rage room open, so that's our goal. Oh, that's sick, dude. I love that. It's going to be so fun. So fun. Oh, yeah. So, um, uh, you're a pretty hands-on guy. Do you have any, you know, I work using, like, regular tools, like... Yeah, I, I, I could use a skill saw, I could use a sawzall, I could okay. use a hammer, a magnet right. hammer, a fucking you name it, I probably right. use it. You ever done any welding or anything like that? Um, I have not, but it is something that I would be more than willing to learn. Okay, cool. And I'm, I'm a quick catch on, so I mean, if you teach me anything for five minutes, it may take the next guy 20 minutes. Right, I'll catch right. on quicker than the okay. average person. Because right now I'm the only one around here that doesn't weld, so maybe in the future. Um, just questions I'd like to know. Do you um, do you know any, or you probably wouldn't know anybody in that question. I'd like to ask if uh, you know anybody that in the area that could use our services, but I know you just moved here. <laughs> yeah, not so that's a negative ghost rider. Um, <laughs> we're hiring part-time three days a week right now. Okay, I already told you that we pay $100 a day. Did the post oh, say that? Okay. Yeah. okay. That's right. cool. I didn't see that. Yeah, so you come out pay $100 a day, salary. So, like, you know, you work two days, you get paid 200 You get work three days, you get paid 300 
Yeah, that's perfect. You're a pretty strong yeah, person. Cool. You don't have any back problems or well, back health problems issues or 100% healthy. Okay, cool, man. That's awesome. You gotta be to go in the military. <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, they don't play around. Uh, are you pretty good with people, with like customers when you... Yeah, yeah, I, uh, when I was doing roofing, my uh, boss had me at one point, um, he would have me do the bids, go to the customers. I'm actually very good with people, I'm very good at keeping my calm, collected side to me and talking to people about the business and making sure that they understand what I'm trying to tell them. All right. You know, if they don't, if they don't really get the point, then I, I just can sometimes get it into them. You know, like some people just need different ways of things being worded for them to understand type mm -hmm. deal. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah man. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, kind of. You gotta. I like that. You know, you gotta. You gotta kind of change what you're saying, the way you're saying it, to certain types of people, so yeah. that they can understand. So I can show you how to do all that, bro. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Like I can teach you a lot. I, I I know all about that. I'm I'm in touch with billionaires and millionaires on Zoom with them every day. Oh yeah. And, uh, one other thing is I am a YouTuber. Are you okay with being on YouTube if you get hired? Yeah, yeah, so sure. that, that's another stream of income I have. I'm monetized on YouTube. Um, that's cool, man. doesn't make me a whole lot, but maybe a hundred, two hundred a month extra in my yeah. bank account. Yeah. And uh, you can tell by the camera right there. I don't know if you can see the camera. Oh yeah, yeah right so there. say hi. <laughs> Am I on YouTube you're, right you're, now? You're not on YouTube right oh. now, but I, I will be editing a video later on today. I'm making a video on my hiring process, and I've yeah. already done a video like this in the past. Um, so when you when you leave, maybe check me out, subscribe, Ooh, check it yeah, out. Man, um, you, bro. If, if you're cool with being on YouTube, we will definitely... So Austin, who did you decide to hire after all, you may be asking? Well, I'll tell you. I made a decision to hire the second person for majority of the time. Uh, just because of the interview was great. Every answer was fantastic, and there was nothing wrong with the first interview. It was a good interview, um, but the, there are certain ways to answer questions, and there are, uh, um, honestly, the, the second person listened a lot more to my questions and uh, stayed on subject and uh, was very professional. It's always a tough decision, you know, you have two people that want the job and I'm a very caring person so I want to be able to give both of them a job. So that's kind of what I did. Basically I'm going to be hiring the second person majority of the time and the first person that came in, I will be hiring them on the days that we are super busy and we need two trucks running and we just need that extra man out there so I'll be giving him uh, some work as well. I appreciated both of them actually making it into the interview, so that was huge in itself. The first person actually picked up the trash on the way out, so I wanted to make sure they had some days too because they seemed like a hard worker. They had I wanted to give them that chance. So bada bing bada boom guys, that's what I did today. I got me two new workers. Make sure to like, comment, and share this video. Down below are a couple of links that you guys can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Go ahead and do that right now if you haven't already. I will check you soon. I'll see you next time, and I'm out of here.